Hi, this is Dr. Doug. I'm a wellness coach and a fitness trainer. Please subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing and it really helps with the visibility of my videos. I want to talk today about moving slower and living longer. I think we all want to live longer and healthier lives, right? Have you ever noticed that how larger animals tend to move slow? And um, smaller animals tend to move fast. Well, the slower animals live longer than the smaller animals because they're moving slower. They're calmer. Turtles, that's a Chinese turtle on the cover here. Chinese turtles are a symbol of longevity because they live a long time. They can live from 25 to 200 years, depending on the species. 200 years, wow. And they do move slowly, don't they? Elephants move slowly. They live 70 years. Uh, now humans, hmm, our lifespan is 120, despite what anybody tells you. It is 120, but you have to be healthy to get to 100. And you can't be moving all over the place, workaholic and all that stuff, and expect to live you know, much past 80. I'll explain why. Yeah, animals that move fast have a short lifespan. <clears throat> uh, the average bug, <laughs> I looked this up, lives less than a year. And you know how fast bugs move, right? Flies. 15 to 30 days. They're very fast, aren't they? Yes. Termite queens. This was interesting. They live 50 years. Well, how is that possible? Because they don't move. They just move a little bit. They move. They don't move fast. They move a little bit. So they live a long time. Termites themselves don't live very long because they move fast. See, movement creates friction, right? Movement, movement, movement. Even when you're moving in the air, you're creating friction on the inside of your body. And what does that friction do? It creates heat. And what does heat do to tissues? It burns them, right? It burns tissues. Heat burns tissues. People who are moving fast all the time tend to have heat problems. That's a Chinese concept, Chinese medical theory. Heat problems, all kinds of heat problems. And they will burn you out if you keep moving fast. Lots of heat diseases in the brain, for example. Paralysis, ALS, MS, uh, Parkinson's disease. Yeah, heat burns um, heart tissue, causing uh, fibrillation and other heat problems. Heat burns lungs. Heat burns every tissue. Burns stomach. Burns, burns joints. Causes inflammation in joints. Heat is not always your friend. Heat causes autoimmune diseases. There's a whole long list of autoimmune diseases because the immune system is too busy. It's too busy. So the immune system is supposed to go after bad guys. But a super busy immune system starts going after the good guys, goes after tissues, and starts burning tissues. Anything that has itis on the end of it, itis, that means heat, that's a heat problem, often caused by excessive movement, yeah. walking fast, talking fast, working fast, driving fast, overworking, working too much, multitasking. When you're doing two things at once, which we're not designed to do, you won't find any other animals uh, that do two things at once. You do both tasks substandard, mediocrely. So if you're walking on the sidewalk on your phone, you're walking and whatever you're doing on the phone are not optimal. They're substandard because you're doing two things at once and that two things at once causes friction inside. 
you do that over a lifetime, every day, day after day after day, you do this kind of workaholic thing. Sleep deprivation, of course, that causes burnout, internal burn of tissues and organs. You must recover. Now, I like to go fast when I'm sprinting, when I'm running. I like to do wind sprints. Certain things I like to go fast when I play tennis. I'm moving fast when I play soccer. I'm moving fast, but then I recover. So I'm not running all the time. I'm watching. The best soccer players, by the way, move slow because they're watching the action. And when it's time to move fast, they go. But then they recover. Well, Americans tend to move fast all the time. It's because we're encouraged to do that in order to be more productive, in order to make more wealth, create more wealth. Um, it's, it causes disease and it shortens your life. I recommend that you get a bumper sticker, which I have on my car, on the left rear bumper that says, safety first, don't tailgate. Because someone who's addicted to moving fast, to driving fast, it's on your tail, and they see that, they just pinch you. Because they figure that tailgating is not gonna make you move any faster. I get in the right-hand lane, and I go the speed limit. Guess what? The speed limit is the maximum speed limit. But in Los Angeles, where I live, the, the speed limit has become the minimum speed limit. My God, if you're not going over the speed limit, oh, it's disaster for those who need to go fast all the time. No. Don't do it. Be different. You notice I don't talk fast. And I don't like announcers and narrators who are it's really annoying. People who talk fast. They annoy me. Right. Now my father once said, if everybody's going north, it's time to consider south, east, or west. If everybody's moving fast and they worship busyness. Hi, Doug, you keeping busy? Uh, no, you're not. No, I sit a lot of, I spend a lot of time just sitting and looking at people and looking in the distance and enjoying life. Wow, you must be lazy. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I'm productive and sometimes I'm lazy. And I move slow because I intend to live a long, healthy life. Well, that's all I have for you today. I'm Dr. Doug for Body Trust. Do not forget to subscribe. See you next time.